uh, Chairman, uh, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. My name is Zhengwu from Xi'an Jiao Tong University of China. Uh, first, uh, it is a great pleasure to attend the uh, webinar, uh, webinar online and share my recent work. Today, my topic is about fuel cell power technology, the novel hybrid energy conversion systems based on fuel cell technology. Uh, before the talk, please give me one or two minutes to briefly introduce Xi'an Jiao Tong University. Our university is located uh, in Xi'an. This is Beijing, uh, our the capital of China. Here is Xi'an. Uh, actually, it is not far away from Beijing. Now, if we take a highway, high, uh, highway uh, train, uh, it takes about four or five hours uh, between these two cities. Uh, actually, Xi'an is the ancient capital of China. It has uh, more than 3,500 years, years of history, the oldest city in China. In China, we have only nine uh, national central cities, and Xi'an is one of these cities. The population is over 10 million. I think some of you may know Xi'an because it is famous with many cultural and national attractions. The most famous is the Tenokota uh, Warriors. Uh, our university was built in uh, 18, uh, 1896, the second oldest university in China. The oldest is Tianjin University. We have more than uh, 3,000 full Thai teachers and more than 40,000 full Thai students, including uh, 2,800 uh, foreign students from over 100, more than 100 countries. Now, the latest global rank is about 300. The discipline of mechanical engineering is top one in the world, and the engineering dis discipline, uh, discipline is top, top, top 30. Uh, now, we have four campus. Uh, Xinqing campus is our main campus, and the Yanta campus, Qijiang campus. And also we have a new campus, uh, we, we call it uh, iHarbor. It means the harbor for innovation. Uh, it is a big and a beautiful uh, campus. So welcome to our university. Uh, so, okay, let's back to the talk. The outlines include the six parts. Uh, first, the uh, motivation. Uh, it is well known that the fossil fuel consumption in a large amount can could easily lead to the greenhouse effect resulting in the temperature rise. And the famous uh, Paris uh, Climate Conference COP21 was held in 2015. The conference target is temperature rise after the industrial uh, revolution, uh, no more than two degrees centigrade. This is a comment from UK in uh, Environment uh, uh, Protection Organization. Uh, green transition of China makes COP21 successful. Why? Uh, because the Chinese government has agreed with enhanced action on climate change. Our goals are to achieve the peaking of CO2 emissions around 2013 and making the best efforts to peak early. To lower CO2 emissions per unit of GDP uh, by 16% to 65% from the 2005 uh, level to increase the share of non fossil fuels in primary, primary uh, energy uh, consumption to around 10%. So, one of the effective ways to achieve these goals is developing the clean and uh, efficient energy convention technology for power generation, hydrogen as an important transition between tra traditional and future energy has the uh, advantages of ad abandoned resources, clean, renewable, good heat conducting property, high, um, the high uh, calorific value and uh, diverse utilization modes, such as thermal energy, fuel cell to produce electrical energy, Actually, the fuel cell technology is viewed as the fourth generation for power plant due to its high efficiency and no emission. In the fuel cell family, there are a solid oxide fuel cell, SOFC, molten carbonate fuel cell, MCFC, alkali fuel cell, AFC, and uh, phosphoric acid fuel cell, PAFC, and the protein exchange membrane fuel cell, PONFC. Actually, uh, these, uh, these uh, fuel cells are uh, 
classified according to the different operating temperatures, which is from high to low. The high is about 600 to 10, 1000, and the low it is about it is near to room temperature. Here, in we compare the conventional thermal. Uh, power generation and the SOFC to show the merits of fuel cell for power generation. Uh, the drawback of thermal power plant is first uh, no, no efficiency limit, uh, limited by current cycle. Secondly, the energy convention is a complex process. Chemical energy to heat uh, such as high temperature steam and uh, then drive the steam to certain turbo to convert uh, the mechanical energy to electricity power. Different to thermal power generation, the fuel cell can directly uh, convert the chemical en energy into electricity energy through electrochemical reactions. For example, hydrogen use hydrogen as air load fuel, uh, air as cathode fuel. Uh, the hydrogen diffused through the air load gas channel to the electrolyte uh, surface while uh, oxygen uh, oxygen diffused through the cathode and the electrolyte to uh, take place the electrochemical reaction with hydrogen on the interfuse between uh, allod and the electrolyte. So accord, accord, accordingly, the electricity uh, is produced outside uh, the fuel cell. So fuel cell usually has high energy efficiency. Uh, besides, it has the advantages of no noise and uh, uh, environmental friendly, and uh, the location can be either uh, centralized or distributed, which is more flexible. SOC and the point of C are the two most important uh, fuel cells which has have different uh, features. SOC needs high temp operating temperature. Just because of the high temperature, the deforming reaction which can convert, convert hydrocarbon fuel such as methane into hydrogen can take place inside the SOC. So the biggest method of SOC is fuel flexi, flexi, uh, flexi, uh, flexibility. flexibility such as natural gas, biogas, and petroleum gas, and the methane, uh, and so on, can also be the fuel. However, the poor transient response is a key problem for its application. So the SOFC is most for stationary applications if it doesn't combine with the other energy system. In combination, uh, Pong FC has no 100 degree. Uh, but the pump FC has uh, to be fueled by pure hydrogen only, which is not so available now in the practical applications. Actually, the actually the exhaust gas out of the SOFC, um, uh, out of the S S SOFC still contains unconverted combustion and reaction gases such as hydrogen, which can be further utilized by the pump FC. If we combine these two kinds of fuel cell to develop SOFC and Pong FC hybrid system, what will happen? So we make a de system design for the hybrid uh, power system. Uh, we take uh, natural gas as an example. Natural gas is input into SOFC to general power. In the meanwhile, the SOFC acts like a uh, deform deformer converting the methane into uh, carbon mo monoxide and the hydrogen as fuel for the SOFC. The produced thin gas exhaust from the SOFC is treated by the uh, water gas shift for hydrogen production and the hydrogen purification to pure to uh, produce uh, produce pure hydrogen for the pump FC. Both the SOFC and the pump FC can generate electricity for power system. Therefore. These kinds of hybrid system can be more flexible and efficient. It was reported that the overall efficiency can be uh, improved by eight to sixteen percent, sixteen percent compared to the standalone fuel cell. As we see, the pump FC need, needs the pure hydrogen as fuel. The gas processing subs subsistence is a very important bridge between SOFC and the pump FC. So far. Uh, pressure swing uh, at the at adsorption PSA uh, is uh, 
uh, commonly used for hydrogen purification in the deported hybrid system. Actually, PSA uh, technology is uh, only for hydrogen uh, separation uh, in nasal than hydrogen purification, in my opinion, why? Because PSA is a, is a complete fissorption process. The mechanism is that different gases escape uh, the different behaviors under pressure changes, such as uh, the air, uh, separation to get nitrogen. Uh, so the hydrogen purity uh, pro pro processed by PSA is reported to be about 96% uh, uh, at the most, but the concentration of CO should be controlled below 10 ppm due to its uh, poisoning the anodic uh, uh, plat platinum, platinum uh, best catalyst in the PF.FC. So it is easily uh, it is easy to point in the catalyst. Uh, different with PSA, uh, same swing adsorption. TSA is a chemisorption process which can selectively uh, react uh, with hydrogen uh, by metal hydride in reversible uh, um, chemical reactions. Uh, so adsorption, exhaust, and desorption, the hydrogen. The hydrogen purity uh, processed by TSA based on uh, AB5 type or metal hydride uh, is reported to be 69%. The ultra high hydrogen purity helps to uh, protect the pump FC. So we proposed uh, the SOFC, WGS, TS, and the Pong FC hybrid system like this, three main parts. SOFC with direct internal deformal subsistence, WGS, TS, gas processing uh, subsistence, and Pong FC subsistence. Uh, take a natural gas uh, as an example. The natural gas and the air sources are first preheated by the waste heat from the SOFC of gas before feeding into the SOFC for saving energy and improving efficiency. Then, uh, the syn gas out of the SOFC alloy uh, enters, enters the gas processing subsistence for hydrogen production and purification. Here, in, uh, we use the two stage WGS reactors for ascertaining certain high conventionate and more hydrogen uh, production. The high temperature WGS is for high conventionate while the no temperature WGS is for more hydrogen production due to uh, the uh, exosomic reaction. Finally, the pure hydrogen is fed into the pump FC as anode fuel for additional power generation. Here, we choose AB5 uh, type of metal hydride for TSA for two reasons. One is the hydrogen desorption temperature is less than 100 degrees centigrade, which matches well with the temp, the pump FC operating temperature. The other is TSA reaction can be covered by waste heat from the two stage from the two stage uh, WGS uh, heat. So to uh, so uh, uh, those those two improve improving the same efficiency. According to, to the system design, the uh, stationary model of the hybrid system can be got, gotten at like this. We use the cycle temple and the metal level semi-link to model this uh, hybrid power systems. And uh, we also make, make some, uh, some uh, model uh, uh, assumptions. This is the model uh, validation uh, because this is no report about the experimental data of the hybrid power system. We uh, validated the main component components SOFC and the pump FC. This it, it can be seen that uh, uh, this is a good agreement uh, between the experiment and the model simulation. Okay, we also check the system uh, energy balance. It can be seen the uh, negative annual is about uh, negative annual is about uh, zero point three three percent, which is very small. Uh, the next is performance uh, 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 evaluation. 
for first system performance, the gross efficiency of the hybrid system can reach up to uh, 60, uh, 68%. The net electricity efficiency can reach up to about 60%, which is higher uh, than the other hybrid energy systems and much higher than the deforming uh, PON FC and the stand, uh, the, uh, stand alone S of C. In as and in our uh, hybrid system, the same energy required for TSA reactions can be taken from the steam heat sources from the two stage WGS. It means the same efficiency caused by TSA can be recycled, thus uh, improving the overall uh, efficiency to about uh, 60, uh, 63.7%. We also carry out the exogen analysis. The exogen flow figure shows how the system exogen reduced from 100% to uh, the final exogen efficiency of about 16%. In the SOFC uh, sub -sub -C system, about 22% exogen is lost, which is the largest among the three subsystems. And then the PON FC subsystems ranks the second 11%. Actually, the gas processing uh, subsystem retains most of of the exogen flow, take TSA as an example, uh, only no more than 1% uh, exogen uh, is lost, which is almost the same as PSA process for hydrogen purification, which is about 0.8%. Uh, we also discussed uh, which compound uh, contributes to the main uh, exogen loss. We can see, uh, we can see the two electricity journal compound uh, uh, compounds S of C and the PON F C account for nearly uh, account for nearly half of the total exogenous loads. The next is the performance of optimization. The next is the next is uh, sorry. The next is performance optimization. First, uh, parametric analysis, fuel utilization, and uh, the circulation. Uh, as of C, fuel utilization is an important uh, parameter parameter in the hybrid system because SOFC fuel utilization not only affects the output power of SOFC but also has an impact uh, on the hydrogen production. And so and those affect affect the output of PON FC as a result. It was found that the net electricity efficiency of the hybrid system reaches at the maximum at the uh, optimal fuel utilization of 0.8. Uh, the op optimal S of C alternate sink gas recirculation uh, uh, presentation is found to be about 0.4 in our work, which is also consistent with the reported optimal recirculation percent, percent, uh, percentage 0.4. Uh, in the SOFC turbo hybrid system utilization natural gas. Uh, we also consider the hydrogen fuel, the, uh, the, the hydrogen fuel uh, the circulation uh, for the PON FC. Since pure hydrogen is the only PON FC fuel, complete uh, the circulation of hydrogen used in the PON FC can increase the later can increase the late electricity efficiency by 6.77, by 6.33%. The operating temperature is another important uh, parameter in the hybrid system. We studied uh, the influence of the SOFC, the WGS, and uh, the PON FC operating temperature on the system's performance. Here in the operating temperature of no temperature, uh, WGS uh, is related to hydrogen production for the PON FC. The lower the temperature is, the more the hydrogen uh, convention of the WGS reaction is. So the PON FC power and the net electricity efficiency can be improved at the lower operating temperature. 
Uh, moreover, the concentration of CO is also reduced with the decrease decrease of uh, no temperature WGS uh, temperature. The CO con concentration is important for the following TSA process because it also uh, points in the metal hydride materials. So, but the uh, concentration uh, limit is about uh, 0.1 percent, much which is much larger than the concentration limited for pound FC 10 ppm. So the low temperature WGS operating uh, temperature should be controlled below uh, 1400, 463 k, k Kelvin to achieve the high efficiency without the CO, uh, without the uh, carbon monoxide. Uh, poisoning and the increase the impon fc or tsa in temperature lead to more hydrogen production and the increase of efficiency by about seven percent next is the dynamic performance at 800 at 800 uh, degree uh, about 274 kilowatts stable power can be obtained within three seconds from this figure it can be seen as of c uh, dominates the power output for of the hybrid system the power of c accounts for only 13 percent at the most but the SOFC has a relatively slow transient response. In order to enhance the transient behaviors, we need to arrange a reasonable power distribution to balance power output and the transient response. We designed six kinds of power distribution between SOFC and the point of C to use the hybrid system driving a fixed 300 kilo, 300 kilowatt vehicles. The results showed uh, the results show the hydrogen buffer is required for the uh, hybrid system with uh, super uh, with uh, super real um, transient behaviors and more than 60 percent efficiency this is the performance uh, when the ratio of SOFC to pound FC is set as uh, 624 the time to reach stable uh, power output is less than three seconds. Additional natural gas and hydrogen support is required as the input fuel. So we consider the two kinds of so we consider the two two cases as operation uh, structure. The first case is to combine hydrogen supply from hydrogen buffer and hydrogen production from TSA, uh, like this. Uh, the hydrogen flows through number one and uh, number three, and uh, number three pipes to enter the enter the pump FC. But in this case, uh, but in this case, the hybrid system needs more than 400, more than 400 seconds to reach the uh, equilibrium again, because uh, the gas solid reaction always has a large time scone, uh, constants, uh, nearly, uh, nearly more, nearly 360 seconds for TSA disrupt dissolving uh, hydrogen. So in order to improve the transient behaviors, we suggest to use the whole hydrogen supply from, from hydrogen buffer instead of hydrogen production from TSA. And like this, uh, the hydrogen out of the TSA uh, reactor is first injected in and stored into the hydrogen buffer. And then the required hydrogen flow is released out of the buffer at the point of C fuel. In this case, the TSA uh, reaction dynamics will be replaced by hydrogen fuel support dynamics. The time constant, constant is greatly uh, reduced to about uh, five seconds, and the hybrid system can achieve the stable performance with, within uh, 10 seconds. Besides, besides the domination of the transient behavior of the hybrid system is changed from SOFC to pump FC, which has a more quick response than SOFC. So we now know the 
uh, hybrid system has a high efficiency and a fast response. It means the hybrid uh, system has the potential application in the fields of power plant and even transportation. How is the economic performance? So we also carry out the technical economic evaluation. First is the cost distribution. These two figures are the components cost and annual cost and sales distribution. Fuel cell as the main electricity power uh, generation component, component contributes to most of the cost, about 80%. Uh, the second is the annual cost uh, uh, distribution. The natural gas fuel accounts for half of the total cost and the uh, capital investment contributes to uh, 35%. The next is the choice of the TSA working media. We consider the three kinds of metal hydride, AB5 type and the A2B type and the AB type. These kinds, these three kinds of metal hydride are the most commonly used in the applications. Among the three types, AB5 type has the longest life, so life cycles, which is more than uh, 80,000. Uh, while the A2, A2B type has the highest hydrogen capacity, which is 7.5%, and the AB type has the lowest price, which is 0 0.012 million Chinese yuan per ton. From this figure, it can be seen metal hydride has a bigger effect on the unit hydrogen production. You need the hydrogen production cost, UHPC. However, the effect on the specific electricity energy cost, SEC, uh, in such such a large power scale, uh, 10 megawatt watt, watt, uh, is small, which is in the small range from 0.462 uh, to 0 0.467 Chinese yuan per kilowatt hour. Since AB2 type is the most commercial metal hydride with the longest life cycle, it is suggested to use AB5 type of metal hydride as the TSA uh, working media in the hybrid system. Okay, uh, the next, this is, uh, and then the e economics of power scale and the TSA with the increase of the power scale, the, spe the SEC is reduced. So the large uh, scale uh, promotes to cut down the electricity cost. Uh, the limitation cost is about three uh, cent. A per kilowatt hour, which is uh, much lower than the cost of a standard power, uh, power plant, which is 5.46. We also compared the uh, economics of using TSA, PSA, membrane reactor as hydrogen production and the purification method in the hybrid system. Uh, the combination show uh, the TSA is the cost optimal, and uh, then the popular membrane reactor, and uh, the last one, the most expensive is the traditional PSA. We also consider the four different fuels, natural gas, biogas, uh, liquefied petroleum gas, and OPT, and the water, water gas. As we know, natural gas and uh, biogas, those fuels are general uh, regional fuels in different regions. These fuels have different prices and the different five financial uh, subsidy policies. Here, in, we take uh, Eastern China, as an example, Shanghai City as an example, by uh, competition, the natural gas and the biogas fields field system has the higher overall, overall efficiency of about 64%, while the uh, LPG and the water, water gas systems has the lower efficiency of about 15.5%. Uh, 55 percent and 43 uh, percent. Moreover, the natural gas and the biogas systems also has have the low SEC, which is uh, about uh, six point uh, four six four and six uh, four six nine um, Chinese yuan per kilowatt hours. While the water gas has the uh, uh, largest WEC up to zero point seven eight five Chinese yuan per uh, uh, kilowatt hour, which is almost uh, twice the cost of natural gas and uh, biogas. We also study the market uh, sens sensitivity of the hybrid. 
uh, of the hybrid uh, syntax. This is the cost of the fluctuation with the market prices. Uh, the price uh, variation is, uh, is set as 10%. It can be seen the natural gas price uh, variation has the biggest influence on the SEC, but the uh, fluctuation launch in the cost is less than 10%, half of the 10% uh, variation. And the others are all no more than 1.5%. So the hybrid system has no sensitivity to the market price fluct fluctuation. And among the four uh, fuels, natural gas has the lowest market uh, market sensitivity. Then is the biogas and the water gas is the largest. Actually, many countries such as China, Sweden, Germany, uh, encourage 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 to develop natural gas and biogas fuel cells for distributed electricity power generation. Uh, various uh, financial subsidy uh, policies has been uh, proposed in different countries and different regions. Take Shanghai City as an example. The standard subsidy level is one thousand Chinese yuan per kilo kilowatt hour for the. Uh, Uh, for the national gas project and the 2,000 for the project whose operation time is over 2,000 uh, hour per year. And uh, 25 and uh, 2,000, 2,500 when the operation time is over 3,000. Uh, for the biogas project, the subsidy level is uh, 1,500 uh, for the power plant, power, power plant with the biogas production of at least 500 cubic meter uh, uh, per day, and uh, 2,005 Chinese file uh, for the plants with daily yield of 10,000 uh, biogas. The upper limit of the subsidy on each project of both natural gas and biogas is uh, 15 million Chinese yuan. Without uh, the subsidy, uh, the payback uh, period on the annual return on investment ROI of natural gas and biogas projects are about 2.5 and 2.6 years and 6.3% to 6.5%. Uh, for the, however, for the water gas uh, project, there is no pay, payback because it is, it is cost. Uh, 0 0.785 uh, is higher than the on-grid electricity cost, 0 0.765. Uh, actually, the water gas, water gas, water gas has been out of the market in Shanghai since 2016. Therefore, uh, the LPG and the water gas project for distribution power plant are not economically uh, competitive in Shanghai. In completion, the natural gas and the biogas are the cost optimal fuels uh, for the distribution power generation. That's also why uh, the Shanghai city government uh, acknowledged uh, the development of the natural gas and the biogas power plant and increased the subsidy level. Taking this uh, financial subsidy into account, the payback period is shortened to about 1.5 years for the natural gas. Uh, natural gas project and 0 0.8 years for the biogas. Accordingly, the ROI is uh, increased to 6.67% uh, for the natural gas and 10.98% uh, for the biogas. So the last one is the developer uh, node member of this kind of power generation technology. It was found that the subsidy level has a uh, significant impact on the uh, investment the economic of this kind of hybrid systems. Uh, we in the small scale, in the small scale region, such as 10 megawatt, the biogas field hybrid system has the no SEC and the short term uh, and the short term uh, payback uh, period and the higher annual ROI than the natural gas uh, field hybrid system. So it is cost optimal to develop for the biogas field hybrid uh, electricity power generation system for small power scale. And and in the in the medium scale, the, there are these two fuels power plant has have compiled uh, compiled uh, comp, 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 
carbon level techno-economical performance, such as uh, payback PLD out of 1.4 years and the annual ROI of 9.9%. At the larger power scale, such as sorting megawatt, the subsea, uh, the subsea, the demands the unchanged because it reaches the upper limit. So the average power subsea the reduced with the increase of the power. That's also why the economy of natural gas and biogas power plant became because becomes worse with the increase of power scale in the large scale, uh, in the large scale region three. In this region. The natural gas field uh, system is more uh, pro, uh, proliferally uh, considered in Eastern China. So uh, uh, through the study, we can get uh, the following conclusions. First is the SFC, PANFC hybrid system coupled with uh, TSA based on metal hydro at present uh, high net electricity efficiency up to about 60, 60, 64%. And uh, the TSA instead of PSA process to achieve hydrogen separation and the purification helps to improve the efficiency and uh, prevent the PF, P, PON FC from being poisoned. And uh, the hydrogen recirculation for PON FC and less than 463 uh, Kelvin for no temperature WGS are suggested for high efficiency and protecting AB5 type of metal hydride from uh, CO poisoning. And then the fuel cell component accounts for nearly half of the total exogenous. loss. The TSA process has the uh, uh, comparable exogen destruction to PSA about 1%. And uh, deducing the power relation of SFC and hydrogen buffer are suggested to enhance the transient behavior of the hybrid systems. And the natural gas and the biogas hybrid systems have the higher efficiency and the no SEC compared with the LPG and the water gas systems. Therefore, the natural gas, natural gas and the biogas are the cost of optimal fuels for the for the hybrid for this kind of hybrid uh, systems. And uh, for the small scale power plant, it is cost optimal to develop the, the biogas uh, systems in East China. Uh, the uh, corresponding payback PLD and, and uh, a new uh, ROI are about 0 0.8 years and 11% respectively. And for the large scale power plant, the natural gas uh, system takes the superiority in Eastern China. The corresponding payback period and, and the new ROI is about 1.2 years and 10% uh, respectively. Okay, we also would like to appreciate uh, this support. Uh, some work is, was done in uh, Purdue, so thank you very much. Uh, that's all my. Uh, presentation. Uh, thank you. Thank you for your attention.